Hello everyone. Welcome to the next class on the statistics. In this lecture, we will see how you can calculate the rank correlation coefficient. All of you know uh, well known about the, the meaning of the correlation coefficient, but now in this lecture, we will see what is the rank correlation coefficient. And this rank correlation coefficient is called as the Spearsman rank correlation coefficient. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can contact me by either of my email IDs if you feel any doubt regarding the probability and statistics or else the best way is that you can simply click on this link and find the several other videos related to probability and stat and then you are feel free to put a comments on the respective videos. So first of all what is the rank correlation coefficient all of you know that this is the rank what is the meaning of the rank is if you have some x or y two variables are there then First thing is that you have to rank the variables of the x and the rank the variable of the y. So based on this rank or based on this rank, you have to find the correlation coefficient. This rank correlation coefficient is different from the Carl Pearson correlation coefficient. Now, how you calculate the uh, rank correlation coefficient? This is by using this equation. This equation is used when there is no tie between the during the rank. And look at that, this small n is the number of the elements of the variable x. And when there is a tie between them, then you have to use this expression, where this small d is nothing but my difference of the rank x and y. While the small m is, say, the number of the, uh, repeti number of the uh, repetitions in the rank. So I will explain you this with the help of the numerical example. So look at that, uh, this one. The following information give about the HDL and the LDH cholesterol level of the seven adults in their locality are here. Then you have to find the rank correlation coefficient. Now the thing is that which one is you have to use, whether this formula you can use or this, the simple way to remember that you can look about the X values, you can look about the Y values. Is there any repetition in the values of the X? Like say 36, is there any 36 appears Again, in the x only? No. 39 appears in the x? No. 23 appears one more time? No. 31? No. And then so on. Similarly, you can find the value of y. In the value of y, can 80 be re repeated one more time? No. 101, 72, no one is repeated more than one time. It means you have to use this formula. If there is a repetition between them, then you have to use the another formula. Now the main thing is that you can see that the value of n you can easily find this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So n is nothing but my 7. Now the remaining thing you have to calculate only about the numerator that is a small d. What is the small d is the difference of the rank of the x and rank of y. So my task is to firstly find the rank of x. How you calculate the rank of x? Look at the value of the, of the x. Which one is the smallest number? This is the smallest number. So you have to put a rank 1. Instead of them, you can also take as the highest number firstly, like say this, you can put as a 1 here. But make sure that you have to follow the 1 procedure. So this is a rank 1. What is the rank number 2? What is the next smallest number element in this is 31. So put the rank number 2 here. You can see this. Similarly, what is the next smallest number is my 33. You can put as my 3 here. What is the next smallest number is now my 36. You can put here as 4. What is the next smallest number is 39, then 45, and then 51. This is 5, 6, and 7. The same way you have to find the rank of the y. Look at that. What is the smallest number is 70. So you have to put 1 here. After that, what is the smallest number is? This is 70, then 72 and so on you have to put here as a 2 then this is my 3 what is the next number is this is my 4 and so on so look at 3 and 4 what is the next smallest number is my this here is my 5 then this is my 6 this is my 7 so based on this you have to define their ranks are there. now based on this x and y you have to find their difference what is the difference is rx minus ry you can also use ry minus rx it's depending upon you so this is 4 minus 4 0 5 minus 3 2 1 minus 7 this and so on now since there is the need of the d square so you have to calculate the value of 
d square. Now substitute all value in this equation. So what you get? This is 6 times, what is the value of this numerator is? Nothing but 108. This is 108 divided by, what is the n is? Look at the value of n is 7. This is 7 square, that is 49 minus of 1. So after the calculation, you will get this as the rank correlation coefficient between the HDL and the LDH. That is X and Y. So this is the way you can put the rank correlation coefficient. Look at one more example. You have to find the grades, rank correlation grades between the mathematics and economics are there. So the main thing is that you have to firstly find which formula is used. So you can check whether 85 is repeated. No. 83 is repeated. No. 87. Yes. 87 here. 87 here. Now, once you are finding that at least one of the element is repeated, also you can see 88 is repeated, okay, and so on. Similarly, you can see in the economics grade, so this is my X, this is repeated, this is repeated. Now, it is repeated one more time. So, you can call as one as a X, second as a Y. So, I called as now this is X, this is my Y. Now, since there is a repeat, repetition, so you have to use this formula. So this is not the HDL, this is the mathematics and the economics are there. So that's why now using here. So again, what is the smallest number element here? here is 82. So this is a 1. What is the next smallest element in this is? You can find them. What is that? This is 83. So this is my 2. What is the next smallest element is my 84? This is 3. What is the next smallest element is? Then 85, then 86. This is 5. Now, what is the next smallest element is? 87 here, 87 here. Now, it appeared two times. So, since you already allo allocated 5 are there, so it means the position of this 87 and 87 is 6 or 7. So, since there are the two numbers, so take the average of them. So, what is the 6 plus 7 by 2 is? Nothing but 6.5. So, once you are finding 6.5, you have to put 6.5 in each of them. Now, what is the next number is? Look at that. This is 87. This is one, 88. Sorry. This is a one time. Here is also one more time. So, how many numbers you have taken up to here is 7. So, this is now my 8 and this is now my 9. So, this is 8 plus 9 by 2. This is 8.5, 8.5. After the 88, what is the next number is 89. It appears only one time. How many numbers we have put them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it comes to be 10. Okay. Now what will happen in the later is? Now it's a 10 is there. Now 90 and 90 again repeated two times. So this is the number is 11 and 12. So divided, since there are the two numbers, so that's why divided by 2. So it comes to be 11.5, 11.5. Now same thing, thing you can do for the y also. So what is the y is? This is the smallest number. What is the next smallest number is? 86. So how many times it appears? This is one time. This is two times. This is three times. This is four times. So look at that. There are four times appears in the 80, 86. So what are the position numbers are there? Since all one is already there. So two. Now it's a three. Now it's a four. And it's a five. Because there are the four positions are there. So divided by four. So what will happen is this is 14 by 4. 14 by 4 is nothing but my 3.5. So put 3.5 here, 3.5 here, and so on. So look at the 3.5, 3.5, 3.5. Same thing now after that, what is the smallest number is 87? One time. Now this is two times, three times, four times. So how many numbers we have put them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it means now it's a 6, it's a 7, it's a 8, then it's a 9 divided by and how many numbers are there? 4. So after the calculation, you get what number you have to put against this 88, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5. After that, what is the smallest number is my? That's a 90. How many times? It all appears only one times. So how many numbers you have put them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it becomes my 10. After that, what is the smallest number is this? This is my 11 and this is my 12 because there is no repetition. 
So after once you are finding this value of the x and y, you have to calculate their difference, r x minus r y. That is the difference between them, and then you have to find their d square. So once you are finding here, you can substitute the values. This is my d square. So this is 84. Now what is the value of this? So look at that. The, in the in the case of the m, in the case of the x, how many repetitions are there? So look at that. How many repetition? 87. 87 appears. How many times? 87 appears two times. So m is my two for the x. Any other repetition? Yes. 88. How many times? Two times. So m one more time. M is my two. Any other repetition? Yes. This is a 90. How many times? It appears two times. So this is for the x. Similarly, you can find for the y. Is there any repetition in the y? Yes. 86. How many times it repeated? Four times. So m is my four. Any other repetition in the y? Yes, eighty-eight. Again, m is my four. So there are the five values of the m: three for the x, three, two for the y. You can substitute here one by one. Look at that. This eighty-four is my d square. Now this this one is for my eighty-seven. Uh, Look at the red colors. This is the two times. Eighty-eight again appears two times. And then this is for the 90 for the two times for the x. This is appears for the y. Look at that. This 88 appears four times, so it appears four times. M is four. Any other repetition is 86 again. How many times? Look at the circles four times, so it appears four times. And again, if there is any other repetition, then you have to add them also. So and what is the value of the n is? You can count them. This is 12, so this is nothing but my 12 is there. So after the calculation, you will get this as the rank correlation coefficient. So this is an exercise for you. Again, you have to check which formula is used. Look at that. If you call as this as a x, you call this as a y. Is there any repetition in the x? Is there any repetition in y? There is no repetition. So it means you have to use this formula. Again, one more example. This is an exercise for you. So. This is x. This is y. Is there any repetition in the x or repetition in the y? No. Again, you have to use this formula. So this is a simple way you can to learn about how to calculate the rank correlation coefficient. If still there is any doubt, you can simply follow this link. You can share this video with your friends so that they may also know how to calculate the rank correlation coefficient. Till then, best of luck, students. Happy learning.